gyroscopes and accelerometers have found their way into various motion sensing products. But how are these sensors different? What are their advantages and limitations? The following demo contains gyroscopes and accelerometers along each of the three axes mounted inside a remote control. This combination is called an inertial measurement unit, or IMU. These six sensors can be turned on or off individually and can be filtered and combined in different ways. Accelerometers can measure linear acceleration as long as there is no rotation. When the device is rotated, the acceleration due to gravity is confused with the linear motion. Accelerometers can be used as a tilt sensor by tracking gravity, but they cannot measure horizontal rotation. Fundamentally, they can't tell the difference between gravity and linear movement. Notice how jittery they are, even when held still. This jitter is due to the user's handshaking. Because accelerometers combine gravity and linear movement, they amplify this jitter. The jitter can be filtered out, but now a delay has been added. Gyroscopes measure all types of rotation directly, including horizontal. They are very responsive, and they don't amplify hand jitter. They respond only to rotation, not linear movement. Because of this, they provide a signal that is both clean and responsive. All types of movement can be measured simultaneously when gyroscopes and accelerometers are combined. The gyroscopes track rotation, and the accelerometers use this information to calculate the linear movement. Now, complex human motion can be tracked. 